Welcome to Hanging in the Olive Tree with me, Eric. Hi everyone, this is Eric from the Olive Room. I hope you're doing well. Today I have another marine life sea creature video planned. I have kind of a wacky story that I want to share with you guys. This is called Axel Scheffler's Flip Flap Ocean Book. And on the bottom it reads, full of funny rhymes and crazy creatures to make you giggle. So what this book does, as you can see here on the cover, is it combines different sea creatures together. And on the back here, there's this little puffer fish and it's saying with 121 possible combinations. So this small little book can make 121 different combinations of sea creatures, which is pretty crazy. And then after the book, I wanna share some ideas um, that the Olive Room worked on inspired by this book, as you can see here. So stay tuned at the end of the video if you'd like some ideas that maybe you can do at home. All right, let's have some fun reading. Axel Scheffler's Flip Flap Ocean. And here's a little fish saying, what crazy creatures will you meet today? Here's the first page. There's a little clownfish saying, what is it? It's a sea lion. I'm noisy when I want my food, you'll hear me far and wide. I do look like a seal, but I have ear flaps on each side. My flippers are so strong that I can move around on land. I hop along the rocky shore and lie upon the sand. And here the sea lion is saying, Arf, 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 arf. All right, now I can either flip the top or the bottom part. I think I will flip the top part and let's see what we get. Ooh. Now we have a shark and a sea lion. And here the little sea slug is saying, what is it? It's a Cheyenne, a shark and a sea lion. And then here's the poem of the shark and the poem of the sea lion, and it's combined together now. You'll see my fin from far away, as it stands up so tall. My jaws are full of pointy teeth, I have hundreds all in all. My flippers are so strong that I can move around on land, I hop along the rocky shores and lie upon the sand. And the Cheyenne is saying, snap, snap, arf, arf. All right, I'm gonna flip the bottom, and now we have a normal shark, and the sea slug is saying, what is it? It's a shark. You'll see my fin from far away as it stands up so tall. My jaws are full of pointed teeth. I have hundreds all in all. I must keep swimming all the time since if I stop, I'll sink. Just you try swimming while you sleep. It's harder than you'd think. And the shark is saying, snap, 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 snap. All right, I think I will flip the bottom part this time and let's see what we get. Whoa. Now we have a shark combined with a octopus. And the sea slug is saying, what is it? It's a shopis, a shark and an octopus. You'll see my fin from far away as it stands up so tall. My jaws are full of pointy teeth. I've hundreds all in all. I've got eight strong and slippery arms with suckers in two rows. They help me move around and if I lose one, it regrows. And the shopis is saying, snap, snap, swish, swish. All right, I'm gonna flip the top part. And now we have the octopus. My eyesight is exceptional. My head is large and wide. I change my color if I'm scared, and then I try to hide. I've got eight strong and slippery arms with suckers in two rows. They help me move around, and if I lose one, it regrows. And the octopus is saying, swish, 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 swish. All right, I think I will flip the bottom part this time. All right, here's our next one. We have a little fish saying, what is it? It's an octab. My eyesight is exceptional. My head is large and wide. I change my color if I'm scared, and then I try to hide. I fit through narrow spaces since my shell is pretty fat, flat, and as for scuttling sideways, well, I am the best at that. And here the octab is saying, swish, swish, click, clack. Now something else you can kind of do that's kind of cool is you could reverse it. So we could take the top of the crab, the head of the crab, and put it on top. 
and have the octopus arms on the bottom. So I'll show you what that looks like. We have the head of the crab and then we'll flip it the other way with the octopus arms. And then it also changes the name. Here's a little fish saying, what is it? So before we had an octab, now with the crab on top, the crab head on top and the octopus arms on bottom, it's a croppus. And then the poem reads, my snappy claws are powerful. I use them when I fight. My eyes are up on little stalks to give me better sight. I've got eight strong and slippery arms with suckers in two rows. They help me move around, and if I lose one, it regrows. And here the crop is saying, click, clack, swish, swish. All right, so those are just a few of the combinations that you can find in this book. Um, there's 121, so it would take me a long time to read, to show you all of them. But right now I wanna share some ideas for products that you can do at home, so stay tuned. There's also flip-flop books that come in a farm version and a safari version too. Here Eve made a hybrid mer fairy, a mermaid and a fairy together. Um, all you need is a piece of paper and then fold it about one thirds horizontally. To make your own flip-flop book, you'll need sheets of paper. I used half sheets. And then you will staple it on one side, all the pages together. Then I made a line in the middle with the help of a ruler. After that, I followed the line with scissors and cut the pages down the middle. Make sure not to cut the pages all the way across or else the book might fall apart. I left about an inch of space where the pages stayed connected. Now you have your flip flap book and you're ready to draw your creatures. Enjoy! I also made some animal cards using index cards. Just cut the cards in half and then draw your creatures. You can rearrange the cards to make different kind of hybrid creatures. Here we have a polarca, a butter po, and a pibear. You can also make a game with your cards. I took the front part of the animals and creatures and put them on one side, and then put the back part of the creatures on another side, and then flipped them over. Then you can kind of mix them around and then choose cards. Oh, I got a match on the first try. Let's see what else I can get. This one, and oh, we've got a hip fly. You could also turn it into a memory game. Thanks for watching. See you next time.